All right. Do I have any new people here today? Hey, everybody. Anybody new? If you're new, let's put a one in the chat so I know my new people. So we got Georgia in the house. We've got Alaska in the house. I know we got Lancaster, California in the house. Uh, South Africa in the house. Got some wonderful, wonderful. Edwina, you're California. No, where are you at? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. That's right. I was just talking to somebody else. Shane is uh, in Texas too, but I don't think he's here today. Steve is from South Carolina. I know that. Poland's here today. Beautiful. Jennifer is in Colorado. I am trying to have an effect on that though, honestly. So trying to have her out here. <laughs> Tennessee in the house. Gilbert, Arizona in the house. Love it there. Colorado. Rally now, Carolina. All right. Chicago in the house. Beautiful. All right. Oh, see, it's snowing there. You should be here. All right. So let's get going. I might, first of all, for those of you who don't know me, I didn't see anyone, so I don't think we have anybody new here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Elizabeth Larson. I am here to help you with my AI live today. We do this every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific. We show you not only a different way of using the my AI system every day, we're also going to show you different ways of building on social media, different ways of being able to start conversations that are going to help you be able to get the results in your life and business that you're looking for. So since I don't have anybody new, I don't have to worry about doing such a detailed demo today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you where you're going to find your replay. Just in case you don't know, you're going to come over to Facebook where we're streaming live. And we're going to come over to the official corporate now site group and you will find the AI live here. Now, if you're one of those wonderful four people that I see that are watching on Facebook, you can come over to now site uh, dot online and actually join us live. And it's much more fun over on this side than it is on Facebook. If you just want to hang on Facebook and watch it, you're more than welcome. But what I am going to do is put this right down here in the comments so you can come join us live. Did I get the right one? Yeah, now site.online. If you click on that little link, you're going to be able to come and join us live. Now, if you want to know more about me, you can find me here. This is my Facebook page. Feel free to follow. Feel free to friend. I love friends and uh, would love to see you there. Okay, let's get started. So today... Let's talk about some hashtags that we can use and some different ideas of what we've got. So today's Friday. You can have hashtag Freedom Friday. That's one of my favorites, talking about freedom that I get because of my businesses. Huge thing for me. I am an entrepreneur. I I I and what I realized is I've been one since I was young. Like I started a lawn mowing business, I started a car washing business. Like I don't know. I don't know. I was always like, I'm going to make money and I was going and and uh working for other people just unless I have a lot of autonomy, it didn't work really well for me, right? Like if I was a if I was like if I could still act like an entrepreneur in the job, I did well. And if and if I was micromanaged, I was terrible at that. And there's a lot of people out there like that, you know, that are like, gosh, I just want freedom to make decisions. I want freedom to do these things and stuff. So Freedom Friday works very, very well on Fridays. Another one, anybody here in the crypto area, the financial advisor area, uh, any kind of thing with finances, or even with any network marketing company that's talking about the business end, you can also do Financial Friday. Now, Financial Friday is great for financial tips. Cindy, may I use uh, your uh, your other business as an example, your real estate business? Okay. So Cindy has a lot of wealth of information, like a lot of wealth of information. So as a real estate agent, of course, she's going to have to help people get into their homes and mortgages and stuff like that. She's got a lot of financial tips that she could give people, right? And so how amazing is that on Friday to give financial tips with Financial Friday, right? So that's a great idea for you. For anybody who has a network marketing business, you can talk about why an extra $500 a month or an extra $1,000 a month actually helped you. When did that help you? Now, we don't want to just talk to people about, you know, oh, well, you know, 
you should have an extra $500 a month because, okay, great. You sounds like you're selling something to me. But when you take that and you talk from your own experience of what that extra $500 did when you were first in your business or that ex extra $1,000 did or that first paycheck that you got that was really substantial, those kinds of things, that works really, really well, right? So that's another idea. So let's go ahead and show you the different ways that we can do this today. And then we're going to go ahead and do our demo. So I am going to come over here and we're going to go right here. Now, remember, we've got three steps. Step one is posting on social media. Step two is commenting on other people's posts. And step three is starting conversations. Now, the truth is, if you want the most bang for your buck, 10 minutes prior to this meeting, you should be coming here and doing number two. Or like when I'm doing the demo, while well, you know, for all the new people and stuff like that, you could be doing number two also. Number two is commenting on other people's posts. That will affect how many people see your posts through the algorithm. Facebook likes it when you're commenting on other people's posts, right? But for this purposes of this demo, or if you're brand new or new to social media and you're like, okay, Elizabeth, don't, don't just keep it simple for me. That's okay. I'm going to keep it simple for all of you. We're going to start with step one, which is posting. Then we'll go to step two, which is commenting. And then step three, starting conversations. So we're going to post on social media. Remember, we have six ways. I always do it in sign language. Sorry. Six ways to do these posts, right? We've got caption and suggested image. Caption and suggested image is very popular. And I'm going to show you some other ways of using this today, okay, that are going to make this more personable. So caption and suggested image is great when you don't have an image at all and you're just getting your bearings on social media. It's also neat when you want to use multiple photos on your post, and so, uh, and you could do that also with long post and suggested image. The only difference between those two is caption and suggested image. The AI is, is going to write a short caption for you and then give you your image. On the long post and suggested image, it's going to give you a much longer post with that image also. Now, I personally like to use this with a, a photo of mine or like this. So I'm going to come over to my page and I'm going to show you a couple of different things that I've done using those two. And you can come over to my page and check it out and see those. Okay. So first my pin post up here, this was a, uh, this one right here was done with long post and suggested image. And so what I did was I talked about losing 70 pounds, starting my business, changing my life, getting freedom, like all of that. That's what I asked the AI to write. And it did that. Now, this is the suggested image. However, the suggested image was actually just the picture of the person looking at the mountains and the water. I, through the now site system, the My AI system, put the, the words on there. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So when I do suggested image, I like to add it. That's so funny. And we're in the same shirt. Sorry, squirrel. It's like, that looks familiar. Wait a minute. Okay. So one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> All right. Anyway, squirrel. Sorry, guys. So I've got this right here. I had a picture of me. I added it to the caption and suggested image. So I made it more personable and more connected to me, right? So some other ways of doing that um, is this one right here. This was... Uh, a long post again. No, this was captioned and suggested image. The other one was long post and suggested image. This was captioned and suggested image. And this is the image that I got. I put the words on there. So I'm going to show you how to do that with putting the words on there today. And then we can add our own photo or our own video with it because it makes it more personable together, right? You see the difference of that. So uh, let me see if I've got one that's just the other one I want to show you with that idea. Okay, this one also is caption and suggested image. And you notice I did not put a photo of me or a video with me with it. It's just the image. But instead of just having the image by itself, 
I've put the words on there so it draws more attention, right? Because if, if you just saw the photo of the girl looking out, it's a nice photo, but it's not a grabber, right? It doesn't really stop you in the news feed. It's like, eh, okay, whatever. I don't know what that is because there's no real big connection, right? It's not a connection to me for people who know me because they know that's not me. It's a pretty picture. So what I've started doing that's been working really well is putting some words on the picture it gives me if I'm going to use just the picture. So this is what we're going to show you today in the demo today, right? So you can use multiple images, even though it's giving you suggested image, you can actually use multiple images in there, right? So this is what we're going to do. So that's caption and suggested image and long post and suggested image do those. Now, just so everybody knows there your other options, if you have images that you wanna use of your own and you don't need the other image, you could also do caption my image. That means you have your, all your own images and the AI is not gonna give you any. Same with the video, you have your video, you don't need anything from the AI, just the writing of the post. And of course, short text only posts for anybody who is new, who did not tell me, uh, there, that's these kinds of things right here. Short and colored backgrounds, family's what you make it, and Valentine's Day, it's about sharing love with those special to us, what are your plans today, stuff like that. So last but not least is the surprise me button. The surprise me button's great when you just don't know what you want to post. Like today, if you're like, okay, that's a great hashtag, financial freedom, or, or um, you know, or Financial Friday for tips or Freedom Friday or that. That's all great. But maybe I'm new in my business. Maybe I'm not confident. Maybe I'm like, I am not. don't know if I'm ready for that one yet. You could do the surprise me button. The surprise me will give you a great post that you can use on your social media and give you some inspiration for that. Okay. So for us today, we're going to do caption and suggest an image. And I want a post about... Uh, Hashtag Freedom Friday. So thankful for the freedom I have because I started my own business. Through this business, I have been able to travel, live where I want, and meet the most incredible people who have now become my friends. I am the most blessed person on the earth. Okay. So this is the framework that I want the AI to use. Now, remember, I could have just taken all of that out and said, write me a hashtag about Freedom Friday. So if you don't know what you want to write, you could just say, write me, write me a post about hashtag Freedom Friday. It can be as simple as that. But remember, the more prompts and detail that you give to the AI, the better the result or the closer the result is going to be to what you actually wanted, right? Because less information, you may have to generate it a couple of times until you get what you want. The more information you give, the more it's going to do that. So let's go ahead and generate. All right, here we go. Today on Freedom Friday, I'm feeling overwhelmed with gratitude. My journey as a coach has unlocked doors to incredible destinations and even more amazing souls. Here's to living a life on our own terms, full of fun, friendship, joy, blessed beyond measure, entrepreneurial life, grateful heart. That's pretty decent. Not bad. I can hit generate again and see if that gives me something different. I can also look and see on the different platforms what it gives me, like Instagram, is a great one. Feeling a surge of gratitude this Freedom Friday as a coach, I had the privilege to explore breathtaking places and connect with inspiring individuals. Celebrating a life where travel, connection, pure joy are the essence. Feeling incredibly blessed and thankful. So that one's great. Um, if I 
Now, see, here's the problem, though, Edwina. This photo is not very exciting, though, right? It's an okay photo, but it's not exciting. How do I make this photo exciting? I'm going to go ahead and click. Now, two things. If I want to specifically use this photo, this is going to be a little advanced. So for my newer people, please don't get scared. You don't have to do it this way. But I want to make sure you know, because we get a lot of questions of, I want to put words on this exact photo. You can try to search for the photo again, but once you hit change image, that photo is not there, right? So you can download this photo and, and download it into your computer and then change image. When I go to change image, I can go to my images, I can select an image and I can upload that image. Now see, there's the image, right? It's the same image as the one over here. So if I click select that and I hit edit image, I can click this button right here, add text to image. And then I could put live the life of freedom you deserve. I can show you how. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that font size a little bigger. Okay. Now, the overlay that you see up here at the top, overlay of opacity, this is how you darken a photo a little bit so the words pop out a little bit more. And that's generally what I do for most of my things. Okay. And I've got like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit okay. Once I do that, that's over here. Now I've got a couple of options, right? I can make this shorter so it's more pronounced on Instagram. I could have also made this an up and down photo only portrait instead of landscape as well. So I'm just gonna hit add just for the sake of time. Now. And we know that says a little bit more than just the photo by itself, right? And there's a lot of different ways you could do this. And, and I mean, uh, in honestly, in all honesty, I probably wouldn't have used this photo. I would go and search for a different photo that had more meaning to me. But for the sake of this demo, I just want to show you how to do this. So, so instead of the other photo, this is what I've got. When I hit get started, I'm going to download now the new photo. And when I hit post, then I come over here. And then I hit create, right? When I hit create, I hit select computer. And then I put in the photo that I want. And then I hit next. Now with this, a lot of times you want more of a portrait type photo. For the sake of this, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But now I'm gonna post this in here. Now, here's the only problem. There's one problem that we need to overcome in this. It's a great post, right? It's okay. Feeling a surge of gratitude this Freedom Friday as a coach. I've had the bit privilege to explore breathtaking pace places and connect with inspiring individuals, celebrate a life where travel, connection, and pure joy are the essence feeling incredibly blessed. Okay. But that's not solving anybody else's problem, right? Somebody reads that and they're like, Okay, that's good for you. What's in it for me, right? So what I can do right here, first, I would actually change this to, you know, as a business owner or something like that. 
But then what I would do to explore life taking and inspiring individuals, but I would add my own story into that, but it wasn't always that way. And then I would talk about my personal journey of, you know, being the kid in foster care, being the kid who, you know, uh, was just trying to survive at minimum wage jobs, being the 20 year old who never thought she was going to amount to everything, anything, because that's what everybody told her and all these other things. Right. So I would put in part of my own story in there because the photo says, live the life of freedom you des you deserve. I can show you how. If I do that and then it just says what I've done, that doesn't do anything for anybody. But if I add my story in here and then put that story in there, then I at the very end, after the story, I'm going to go ahead and say, Do you want this life? What dreams? What dreams are you thinking about? Let me know in the comments. Or message me. I would love to help you get to your dreams just like I did. Okay, so I do something to the effect of that. Do you want... Uh, do you want this life? What dreams are you thinking about? Let me know in the comments or message me. I would love to help you get to, chief, eh, whatever. Your dreams just like I did. Grammarly doesn't talk like I do. And I'd rather have it like me than what Grammarly says. And then of course we just hit share and then we're done. So what I want you to do today is do as much as you are comfortable with, Okay. Let's make a post on Freedom Friday or Financial Friday or, fin or, or Financial Freedom, hashtag Financial Freedom, whatever. Uh, be careful, though, with the Financial Freedom, though, one, if especially if you're in crypto, because you can be crossing bounds with your company. So be careful if you're in crypto or something like that one with that one. But let's do a hashtag. You can either do, if you don't feel comfortable putting the text on the post yet, that's fine. Do a caption and suggested image. If you have your own image, use your own. But let's see how creative you guys can get in doing your post. We're going to put up the five-minute timer, and we're going to let you walk through this. And then when we come back, we're going to take questions, and then we're going to showcase some of your posts as well. Is everybody ready? Okay, let's go ahead and get going. We're going to take five minutes to do our own posts. And then put your link in the chat, because I'd love to showcase your post today. And if you have questions, make sure you get your hands up so I can start answering them as soon as we get back from the five minutes. Let's go ahead and do our posts. All right, everybody put in the chat how that went for you. How many did we do? Let's see. Yep. We've got two for Leslie, five for Ariel, one for Tim. One for Mary, one and still working on another. Fantastic. One for Johnny. Fantastic. One regenerating, another one okay. working on it. One. Beautiful. Karen did three. Jenny did one. Fantastic. Mary Kohler did one. Oh, she did two. Fantastic. 
All right, let's go ahead and take some questions. We're also going to showcase some posts today. And one for Omar. Great job. Okay, Tim, did you have a question today? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yep, I sure can. So question I got is like, if you find images and you save them for your saved, is there a way that you can go back and use that image instead of what you have for your post? And then Absolutely. how would you, is it similar to what you were showing about with the one that we had where you can add your own text to it? Yeah, let me walk you through the process real quick. So if I had decided that instead of, let me go over here. Um, sorry, mine disappeared. I come back up. Okay, here we go. All right, so if I decided I wanted to use a photo that I had saved previously, I can click change image, come over here to my images. And these are all some of the photos that I've saved, right? I've made a couple of things that I liked enough that I would save them. And so the way you end up doing that is you can come over here to image search and you find whatever image you want. So let's just look up freedom and see what comes up. So maybe I wanted this kind of photo instead. Maybe, oh, I love this photo. Like this is, this is so much me. Um, so let me use this photo instead. I can edit this image and then I can actually put in my text. So again, you live in the freedom. You, you deserve, I can show you how. Okay. All right. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the, the wording, you can't even see it up here, right? So again, mm -hmm. that's the time that you can either, one, change the color of the font to a darker color, that's one that you can do. And let me make this bigger. Now that's one way of doing it. I go, of course, I can change the opacity a little bit so it actually pops more. But normally I just change opacity and keep it more of the brighter colors because I want the words to be more pronounced than the actual, the photo. The photo is more of just, um, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so for sake, we'll just keep it like that. Okay, I hit okay. Now, before you leave this page, click save to my images. Okay, before you leave that page, you're gonna click save to my images. And once you do that, now I've got this image, right? So let me go back to the original image here and add this here. So if it had given me this image, Tim, what I would do if I wanted to use a previous image that I have saved, I just click Im change image, go to my images, find the image that I want, hit image edit, hit add, and boom, I would be done. Does that make sense, Tim? Yeah, it makes sense. I was just wondering, like, if you had already saved the image and you had it saved, can you add, can you go in there and then to edit the image and make it and add your own? Yeah. Perfect. Say so like we're going to edit were... image and add text. The thing of it okay. is, is that once the text is on there, you can't remove it. Okay. So whatever you write on there. So you have two options. You could. If you really like the photo and you think you may change text often, you could go and uh, save the photo first and then go back in and then do that and change it again. Does that make sense? For yeah. a second one. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. All right. My beautiful Leslie. Hi, gorgeous. Good morning, Elizabeth. Or should I call you now site? Uh, well, I know I never changed my name. I need to change my name. 
I don't have a question. I need I a producer. You know what I need? I need a producer who am I changing right, your, right. Set your background. How's the, how's your mic? <laughs> right. I don't have a question. I was just going to share my post. Oh, oh, did you put it in the chat? I did. Okay. Let me go grab it real quick. Oh, la, 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 la. There it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, Nina, International Women's Day. Love that. All right. Let's go. And we're going to hit this. And now we're going to come over here. Okay, perfect. First of all, yummy. <laughs> I felt freedom. I don't have to cook anymore this weekend. Oh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay. Mm, the smell of home cooked bean stew. Ditch the oils and said hello to a hearty blend of beans, chicken, and fresh potatoes right from the crock pot. It's all about those wholesome vibes without the fry life. Let's embrace the simmering goodness and fuel our bodies with nat nature's best. What are you cooking this weekend? Only thing I'd add to this, Leslie, I would do two things. What are you cooking this weekend? Drop your comment down below. I need more ideas for next week. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's number one. Two, it, was this done? Did you could make this today? Well, it takes me a couple of days, but I finished it today because okay. I soak and freeze the beans overnight and stuff. So what would be really fun also, and I don't know, some people don't like doing this, but I think it would be so cute to draw more attention to your post is to grab a bowl, have a spoon, like you're taking a bite of it, like you're excited. Oh, like a second picture? Uh-huh. A second picture with you and a bowl and a spoon, like oh. ready to take a bite. Now, well, if you need idea. somebody to help take that photo, you wouldn't be able to do a selfie very well with it. But if you're going to do the selfie, the spoon's in the bowl, and then you do the selfie with that, like the excitement. Like mm. Jennifer has this really cute picture, and I'll give you the example. Uh, Jennifer, hope you don't mind that I'm going to use you here real quick <laughs> as an example. Um, so what I'm thinking is something to the effect of, see this cute little like look on her face? Yeah. Something like, you know, something cute, fun, excitement, stuff like that. If you do that photo with that, and all of that, and then asking for other ideas for next week. Uh, you know, you could even have more fun with it. You could ask for other ideas like, you know, hey, drop your comments below what you're cooking. I need some ideas for next week. Maybe I'll showcase your post or your thing or something. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. You know, I have one question. I see it that I've made a mess around the top of my pot. It's really bothering me. Should I wipe that down? I mean, it is homemade, but I'm thinking I should wipe it down and take another photo. <laughs> Did I not see that? Oh, let me go look. Okay. Let's go look at it, everybody. <laughs> All right. Hold on. All right. For me, it looks like real food. It doesn't look like messy. Now, everybody think that thinks it's messy, raise your hand for her. If you think it's messy and it needs to be wiped, raise your hand. Okay, stop. Now, everybody who doesn't think that it's messy and thinks it looks just fine, raise your hand for her so she'll know. All right. I think everybody's okay with it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Hey, Got you're welcome. Thanks for sharing. This is, oh, I wish I was there. I'd love to taste it. Looks I've good. I've been posting don't cook with oils and fried foods. So then I thought I would make something fun and kind of show you alternative so yeah. thank you so much you're welcome i love it all right uh nina i don't see you around so oh there she is and then we'll go to edwina right after hi nina what hi post or question no just my post i was just playing around with the whole re remote thing that we talked about complimentary remote etc yes and that's okay a, that was an image from now site from an outside, first of all, it's a fun image. That's really neat. Okay, every strand tells a story. And on International Women's Day, I'm reminded why I love what I do. There's magic in the snip of the shears, the whisper of comb through hair, through hair. Every, uh, each step, each a step towards revealing the inspiring confidence that resides in each client. 
What inspires you today? Share in the comments. Let's chat and make it happen. I'm here remotely for your complimentary consultation or near Los Angeles. DM me. Love that. Uh, I like this photo. I think this would be a really neat post personally, though, with one of your great photos of some of the work that you've done, like and maybe even a collage of them, like four okay. or five different things and say, you know, hey, I'm here. I'm ready to to give you your complimentary uh, uh, consultation. So because you I, and especially, um, oh, the guy from Independence Day who played the president, you did his hair. What's his name? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Bill. Bill. Yeah. Right. So if, if it would be okay for him, uh, his photo and stuff like that, like put like five or six photos together, either in a collage or just post five or six different photos in the post itself. I think you get a lot more traction than that. I love the photo I gave you, but Thank I think you. it resonates closer to you for the photos that you've done. Sounds good. Love it. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Thanks for being here. All right, Edwina. Yes. Thank you so much for what you do. I have to say that every time. I have a post that I'd like you to just kind of give me some feedback on, please. Okay. Let's take a look at this. And. All right. Oh, the sweet taste of freedom. Running my own business has opened a world where alarm clocks are optional and coffee breaks unlimited. But enough about me. I want to know what dreams you're scribbling in your wish list. Share them below. I like it. I just wish I I would know a little bit more about how it was for you before, because it's it, so running my own business is open the world where alarm clocks are optional and coffee uh, breaks are unlimited. I would actually stop right there, break open and tell a little bit about what your life was like before that. Okay. And then, you know, one co cool thing that you could do. I'll give you this. Uh, I know we got to wrap up here, but um, when you've got your photo, what would be really neat is if you have a selfie of yourself, upload it just like I showed you how to upload photos into the My AI and then put the wording on it Oh, on your own photo. Okay. I'll try that one. Sounds that, really complicated, but I'll try it. That I think you can do it. I okay. can't wait. And then tag okay. me in it so I can see it, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Have a great weekend, awesome. guys. Okay. All right. Anybody else who's here have questions? I need to answer questions. I don't think I have a lot of posts. Jillian. And then Karen. We're going to answer questions super quick. Hi, Jillian. Okay. Oh, somehow you got remuted. Try it again. Is that better? Yes. Yeah, Hi there. Quick questions. <clears throat> How do you get into my photos? Unless if you don't want to put the change image thing, is there anywhere, excuse me, <clears throat> on the menu at the left where you can just go and find and generate a, a whole section of your own photos in there? Or do I have to keep going to change the image in order to get into that um, screen? I can't find it on the left side in the um I actually in, don't in think menu. We, we we don't we don't have it there by itself yet. No. And yeah. it, you know what I mean? So every time I want to do it, I've got to actually generate something, hit change image and then go right. into the thing. Yeah. And then secondly, everything on my is, is in Google Photographs for me because I'm an Android person. Okay. So there's no quick way I've got to download it into my computer and then change it, right? Of going straight from Google Photos and putting them in um in the in, in the images. So you don't use the now site app? I do, but I don't think I can drag and drop straight from Google Photos into there. I think I have to go on my phone, I might be able to. Well, on your phone, you should be able to access Google Photos on your phone. Yes. And on the computer, you should be able to access Google yes. Photos also. Yes. So you have access. It's a little bit of a different. But I think I then have to hit download. And yeah. Download it into, okay. There's yeah. no way, you know, because I have hundreds in there. And I have found that, like you said, your own image is the thing that attracts my. It does. Yeah. My handle is dancing. I'm a ballroom dancer and I'm competitive and I'm wow. old. So that's what I'm trying to get at. So I have a lot of ballroom dancing oh. pictures. So I want them all so I can just 
get at them. Yeah. But then I have to keep going back to change my image in order yeah. to create that thing. So that, you might make that. Yeah. Suggestion. So for Android, I'm sorry, you know, there's there's not a lot of compatibility between devices because so many people make Android phones with computers and stuff like that. Um, the best bet is just keep yourself logged into Google Photos and just take the extra step of downloading it to your computer. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Karen. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for all you do. I always learn something. Awesome. Um, on the mobile app, are we um, able to edit, like make spaces, like white spaces? Or the way I've been doing it is I have to post first and then after I've posted, click edit post and then put those spaces in. Yeah. Right. So I don't, phone. I don't, you don't create white space in between words or, or edit the paragraphs in the AI system of the now site. You take it over to um, Facebook or whatever thing, but before you hit post, then you go in and do your white space. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So there yeah. isn't any way to edit it on the phone right now. Okay. I just thought maybe I was missing no. something or I hadn't updated it or something. No, it, it you don't edit the white space there. It, it would be great if it did, you know, like, oh, I can edit the white space, but they figure you're going to do that over on the social media side. Okay. No so problem. It it's just as easy. It's fine. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Okay. Any other quick questions? Because I've, I've got a meeting that I got to jump to. Everybody good? Okay. Cindy, tomorrow I'll showcase your post. Uh, anybody else that I didn't get a question or post done for, please uh, raise your hands first thing tomorrow. Monday. Monday. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. <laughs> I get days off. And today is you National see, Women's Day. Friday. It's National Women's Day and National. it's Friday. I'm going to go walk down to the beach. <laughs> it's a five minute walk. I'm just going to go walk over to the cove and just go hang out. All right. I love you guys after my next meeting. Have a great day. I'll see you on Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific for my AI live. Remember to follow me or friend me on Facebook. If you have questions, let me know. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. See you later and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Bye -bye. everyone. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.